welcome friends to another video from the computing assistant and today we are going to talk about oracle one of the largest software companies in the world most of us use oracle products every day whether knowingly or unknowingly oracle is most commonly known as the company providing database solutions through its customized software and other dbms product solutions but the scope of oracle is not limited to these fields only oracle is one of the most influential companies on the planet it was the third largest software company in terms of revenue in the year 2018 coming just after Microsoft and Alphabet the parent company of Google Oracle was started in 1977 by Larry Ellison the famous entrepreneur along with Edward Oates and Robert Nimrod Miner at that time the name of the company was Software Development Laboratories after further changes in the name the company finally changed its name to Oracle Corporation in 1995 the initial inspiration for the company came when Larry Ellison took inspiration from a paper written by Edgar F Cord in 1970 on relational database management systems the paper was entitled a relational model of data for large shared databanks ellison also heard about the IBM system r database from an article in the IBM research journal provided by oats at that time Ellison wanted to make a system from Oracle that would be compatible with the IBM System R but he was not successful in that attempt because IBM kept the error codes of their DBMS as a secret. On 12th March 1986 the company had its initial public offering. It was a hugely successful IPO but it was overshadowed by the IPO of the Microsoft Corporation on the next day. One of the key factors in Oracle's early success was the use of C language in the implementation of oracle products most of the operating systems support c this helped the company as the porting of the products of the company was easy between different operating systems at the time of the starting of oracle many experts believed that the rdbms was not that much useful and the system was too weak to be seriously considered however as it is common in the tech world the experts were proved wrong by larry ellison and his company Oracle's RDBMS based systems soon dominated the market and Oracle was set on a long ride to success that continues to this day. After the initial release of the first commercial SQL RDBMS, the Oracle has never looked back and has diversified into a much wider range of products and services. At first, we will take a look at the different kinds of the product and services it offers. These include the design, manufacturing and sales of both software and the hardware products. It offers complement services alongside its products such as financing, consulting, hosting and training services. The most famous of all Oracle products are the Oracle databases, with the most important one being the Oracle database. Its range of databases also include the Berkeley DB, Oracle RDB, Times 10, Oracle SBase, MySQL and the Oracle NoSQL database. Its other types of software products include the middleware, which is the software that runs between the applications and the operating system on the computer. It also offers Oracle Secure Enterprise Search and the Oracle Beehive, which is a type of collaborative software providing team workplaces. Besides these, Oracle has a number of other applications for social engagement and monitoring system, enterprise management, software for development purposes and so on its netbeans application are well known as a java based development platform its products also include a file management system known as zfs zfs combines file system and logical volume management functionality and this might be an unknown fact to many but oracle also develops and supports two operating systems known as the oracle solaris and the oracle linux Java, one of the most popular computer programming language, is supported and developed by Oracle. It was initially developed by James Gosling at the Sun Microsystems, which was later on acquired by Oracle. Besides all these software products, Oracle has a range of hardware products as well. For example, the Oracle T series servers and M series mainframe computers which were developed and released after the acquisition of Sun Microsystems. The pre-engineered and pre-assembled hardware software bundles for enterprise use are well known in the industry. These include Exadata database machine, the Exalogic Elastic Cloud, 
the Exalytics in-memory machine, Oracle database appliance, and big data appliance. On the service side of the things, Oracle offers most importantly the Oracle Cloud Services, which focus on basically three types of services, which are known as software as a service, platform as a service, and infrastructure as a service. It has developed and maintains a wide variety of applications for its cloud infrastructure to provide these kind of services. It also offers services like Oracle Consulting which provides technical and business advisory services, Oracle Financing, Oracle Support which includes product updates and configuration management and Oracle Certification Program. The next suite social program is a program of Oracle that assists the non-profits with moving their operations to the Oracle Cloud. It expanded to include product donation and online community building on October 2018. Since its starting, Oracle has expanded to include many products through development by itself or by acquiring the other companies and then further developing the products they acquired. The most notable was that of the Sun Microsystems, valued at 7 billion US dollars at the time, which were completed on 27 January 2010. The acquisition of the Sun Microsystems transformed Oracle from a sole software company to a company that provides both the hardware and the software. It has faced many competitors on its journey and has dealt with many lawsuits, the most recent one being the one with the Google, but it has always come out of the difficulties and has continued on its path. As mentioned earlier, it was the third largest software maker in the year 2018. One of the key factors to its success is leadership. Larry Ellison, the co-founder of Oracle and who is now the executive chairman and the CTO of Oracle has been providing great leadership to the company since its humble beginnings with the RDBMS that no one believed in. Yet the company defied the expert opinions and achieved the status that it now enjoys. Larry Ellison is a tech hero not just for Oracle and the Silicon Valley, but he is known as a great entrepreneur throughout the world. Oracle enjoys a wide range of influence on our society and is one of the most recognizable brands on the planet. So that's all for this video. We hope you enjoyed it and if you did then please like and share it and subscribe the channel.